A very, very warm welcome to Amalia Ullmann. Hello, my name is Amalia Ullmann and I'm an artist who cares about money, the lack of it, and the consequences of such a thing. How does it affect your emotions, your posture, your skin, your speech? Do you have health insurance? Do you eat white bread, rye bread, or no bread at all? My aim is to scrutinize hierarchies, class divide, power relations, the interactions between weak and strong. I also like analyzing the interactions between men and women. Nurse fetishism, maid fetishism. Looking up to you, let me wash your feet. Sometimes I think you're just too good for me. I'm interested in how people treat people, empathy, communication, kindness, and torture. Peace, the infliction of pain. An imposed neoliberalism is torture. I also like playing around with economics. Capitalism is violence. No one will work harder for you. The ontology of shops and movement outside. Where to go when there's nowhere to go? What to buy when there's nothing to pay with? I experience the city by walking, by reading, by seeing, by window shopping, by consuming. The never-ending amount of information acquired by a long sequence of steps is never related to the quantity of cash in my pocket of zeros in my bank account. I will walk across this city and understand its history. I will visit its shops and understand the notions of exchange. I will go to euro stores, pound stores, and dollar stores and understand global economy. I am a city dweller. By window shopping, I fulfill my duties as a urbanite. Personal renovation crystallizes itself in a newly bought thing. I drawn of excitement in a notion of glitter. Note to self one. Bright girl, because everybody can see that I'm beautiful. Spain was for a few years, maybe in an illusory manner, part of the first world. After the crisis, Southern European countries, or pigs, were slowly kicked back to the pig pen they were supposedly belonged to. Would it be possible that within our limits, sensibility has become more attentive to detail, more acute? I enjoy the little that has been left to me. The aesthetics respond to the times perfectly well. Everything is mild, soft, discreet. No one would try to surpass the limits of conformity. No one would try to be more than the rest. Exacerbated neoliberalism emphasized the virtues of youth, self-expression, energy, passion, growth. Recession is claiming stillness and randomness, while leading to an agony and exhaustion. Spain has become a waiting room, and as such is inoffensive, insipid. You won't believe this story because it's just so normal and smells good too, like beige and beyond new. The wavy willow is a secret and silent guest. Its main quality is its innocuous and harmless nature. The wavy willow is a democratic judge. No matter where you are, the wavy willow is there to remind you how you are the same, whatever your situation may be. The wavy willow represents the sort of objects I've been enjoying lately. It's discreet. It functions almost as a sub-image. Something that doesn't quite register, which you don't quite see. In this regard, it seems to me to function in much the same way as a stock imagery. Pretty is a mask used to protect oneself from one's real desires and taste. It doesn't court attention. Instead, it has quietly established itself at a healthy standard, moderation and restraint. Pretty is as socially accepted as it is cute. 
To have a paid affair with a cute young girl is more self-assuring and calming for today's businessman than to have so with a hot dirt. It is the myth of Carla Bruni. It looks organic, it looks pretty, it looks cute yet sexy, but it's not. Only when the mask of pretty has been taken off. Cute is one of the most dangerous words. This is me. I take many pictures of myself. Probably that's why I'm best known for. This is me too. This is how I communicate, how I articulate. A self-portrait is a note, a diary entry. People love blood spatter drama. Of course I continue taking pictures. It's a personal bad habit the same way other people smoke. I find it difficult to articulate pain in words, not so much in pictures. And what about poetry? Poetry is in text. Poems are images too. Only coming out of the pain, I started articulating in prose again. It was also a trick. How much can one fetishize female pain? There is no pretty pain, there is no cute pain, but people keep on believing so because people believe in images over everything else. That I smell good doesn't mean that I'm happy. A bad reading girl, the dreamy girl, she can't escape, she has lost the ability of running away. Dumb, weak girl tied to a bed, no sexual organs affected, everything else is forgivable. I believe in ideas over materials, like cheap, shiny materials and additions, small, invaluable objects, tons of them, repetition, key rings, keychains, bookmarks, no respect for the unique object, no respect for the collectors. Who cares if everything is cognitive energy anyway, semiotics, buy a souvenir of my online presence. Logistics, because I'm studio-less. Stickers are easy to carry, handfans are simple to ship, wire figures are inexpensive to produce. Drawn, drawn, be on time, I want my things and I want them now. Poem 8. I used to think I had the unsweet to everything. The dream is sweet, now must buy item. Aesthetic consumption aligns one to a particular class position, but a position of criticality is itself a space of privilege. Thank you. <laughs>